What's up YouTube? Today the Life Leech mode is out, so I've been playing it a lot and I want to give you guys the best brawlers to play for it as well as a few tips on how to be really successful as well. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so this is going to be a ranking video for the best brawlers for Life Leech. I've been playing it a lot past couple hours. As soon as it came out, I've been playing it basically since then, which is, you know, a couple hours. So I've definitely been getting a good amount of experience. I feel like I have a good feel for it now. It's definitely sort of obvious what the best brawlers are and what the worst brawlers are. So let's go over that. But first, let's do some really quick tips for just how to be successful in Life Leech. First off, as far as what brawlers to use, I mean, we're going to do brawler ranking, but just really quickly, tanks are really, really bad. Range is king because you're constantly losing health. So this is the ability to get quick instant damage is really, really important. So long range is really good. Throwers are good. And then, of course, any brawler that has a healing effect like Barley, Pam, those have really great star powers that have healing. Those are really, really good as well, as you'll see. General tips. One skill that's really important to do well in Life Leech is the ability to do peak shots, which I've talked about before. Peak shots is where you're just right by a wall and you just peek out. You peek out behind the wall, take your shot, and then you peek back into cover. You come back into cover. You take that shot. Hopefully you're getting damage without taking damage. That's the whole goal with that. The only other real tip with Life Leash is when you get that kill or you see that red soul, maybe consider saving it. Don't pick it up right away. Wait until you really need it. Now, of course, you got to be careful with this. If you go too far away and then you're not close enough to it to be able to get that healing, that's obviously really bad and wasn't worth it. But if you can save it, try and save it, and you'll be in a really good situation. Having that instant heal is really, really valuable in Life Leech. Okay, let's start out the bottom of a ranking for Life Leech, and let's just go over the bottom five really quickly because they're just really not good. As I was saying, tanks are really, really bad in Life Leech because you need to be able to get damage whenever you want. If you're a tank, people can just keep running away from you, and it's going to be really hard, or you can just hide behind walls or other things. Yeah, tanks move a little bit faster, but in Life Leech, it's really important to get that damage because anyone who's damaging you while well, you're not damaging them, not only are you actually dying, but they're healing up because of that. So at 21, it's going to be El Primo, 20, Mortis, 19, Bull, 18, Daryl. Uh, we'll stop there, I guess. Well, I'll just say 17 is Shelly. Well, I already talked about how bad tanks were. Really, I don't think I need to go too far into that. Really, just range is really important. Shelly doesn't do much damage at long range. That's one of the reasons she's really bad because she's just getting chip shots. And I mean, the thing she does really well against is tanks, and those are really bad in this mode. So, another reason Shelly is really bad in this mode. At 16, it's gonna be Poco. Poco, you might think Poco has that healing ability. You might think he would be pretty good, but in this mode, he's actually not that great. He's definitely okay because he can shoot through boxes, but he doesn't do enough damage per hit. It's really important in this mode to have high burst damage. If you're not able to hit, like, throw over walls or go around walls and, like, hit people when they can't hit you, if you're not able to do that, you need to have high burst damage and or high range. Poco doesn't have the longest range, it doesn't have high burst damage. So if Poco's in a one-on-one -on -one battle with an enemy and they can easily out damage him, it doesn't matter if he has heal or not. Like, because he doesn't get his heal quickly enough. It takes too many hits for him to get his heal. It's not like normal showdown where you can team up and Poco's really good because he has high health. It's not like that. Poco's not really nearly as good in Life Leech um, as in anything else. 15, it's going to be Frank. I mean, Frank is a really strong brawl right now, even after his nerf. So this is sort of why he's this high. But as I was saying, range is king. The one main thing Frank really has going for him is it only takes three hits to charge the super, and his super is incredibly strong, and his super actually has a really long range and can go through walls. So that is the only reason really Frank is this high, is because he, and he can also do peak shining a little bit around walls to a degree, even though his attack is pretty slow. It is kind of decent at that. So Frank is definitely pretty good. He also has a really, really high health. And I mean, of the tanks, he has the longest range by a good amount. So he's definitely pretty decent because of that, but he's not that amazing. 14, it's going to be Colt. You might think Colt might be pretty decent, but I feel like in a lot of modes, he's just really not. Colt is not really great at getting consistent damage. He's just not a very good brawler right now in general, to be honest. So that's sort of just where he struggles. He has a really low amount of health, and he doesn't have the longest of range for a long-range brawler that has a high amount of health. He does do high damage if you hit his shots. But in these days, there's a lot of walls in a lot of these maps. It just doesn't allow Colt to be super, super successful. 
Unless it's a map that's really suited for Colt, he's not going to be super successful in Life Leech, I wouldn't say. Our 13, it's going to be Nita. Nita's actually pretty decent because she's really good at peak shouting, which is where she can hit people without getting hit pretty easily by using those walls and going in and out of those walls. Nita's really good at that, and that's really important in Life Leech. Being able to get damage without taking damage is like so much more valuable in Life Leech because obviously it makes them lower health and it heals you, which normal attacks don't usually heal you. So this is insane. On top of that, Nita does have that star power or when she throws her bear, uh, she can heal up her bear with her star power and her bear can heal her. So that is definitely helpful having that other small healing thing. On top of that, it's just having that extra body in Life Leech is really important because it just puts out pressure. Anytime you put a lot of pressure out at once, it causes kills a lot more often than not because if you're putting the pressure on someone, it's not like other modes where they can just deal with it and then heal up. In this one, they have to deal with it and they're, they don't have any chance to heal up after that. So it's really, having that extra pressure can be definitely really important. At 12, it's going to be Bo. I really don't like Bo in general as a brawler. He just isn't super consistent, doesn't do enough damage, but He's pretty decent in Life Leech. He has that long range. He has high health too, which is definitely important. It allows him to whenever he heals up, it makes him a little bit harder to kill. And his mines can definitely be pretty useful in Life Leech too. Because as I was saying, that added pressure is really important. So people sort of get anxious. So if you're ever in a situation where you have the advantage over the enemy, maybe you are you have more health than them and you can just sort of let them tick their health away. And you have those mines down. You have the really good solid defensive perimeter and on top of that you can get that healing being like behind a wall not doing anything just being in a safe place and those mines can get that damage and make you heal up as well which is definitely really important in life leech i mean bo's main advantage though is high health as a long range brawler he's not going to do a lot of damage but it's not he doesn't necessarily need it because he has other ways that make him successful at 11 it's going to be tara Tara is the longest range of what I would call the mid-range brawler. So Tara can get chip shots pretty well. On top of that, Tara can shoot through boxes, which in Showdown definitely really important with Tara getting those uh, shots through boxes to damage people and they're not able to use it as cover. That's definitely really important. Tara is also pretty good at peak shotting in general. And of course her super can get you that kill when needed and get you that big heal up with the the soul from someone dying. So that's really important. That's why Tara is definitely pretty decent. She's not like super strong. I wouldn't get carried away with Tara, but she's definitely pretty decent. At 10, it's going to be Ricochet. Ricochet, you might think, would definitely be decent in Life Leech because of his ability to bounce his shots and get sh and hit people when they're not able to hit him. But people tend to be pretty cautious to some degree in Life Leech, and he's not always getting that. And because Ricochet is so low health, it's really much a big gamble because you're constantly at a low health, like a really low health with Ricochet. So he just dies too easily. That's why he's not going to be that much higher. But he does have that ability to get damage in a pretty good way. So he has a really high damage ability, but he's a really risky brawler to play in Life Leech because of that. Because of his low health. So that's sort of, you know, there's some give and take. But Ricochet's definitely pretty good, but he's not that great. At 9, it's going to be Piper. Now, Piper, you might think, would actually be not that good, but as far as killing goes, Piper is one of the best in the game, so that's where she's really good in this mode, because if you hit, like, that one shot, if you hit one shot, unless it's a really high health brawler, that's going to be really damaging, because you can hit that one shot, do, like, two to 3,000 damage, and then all of a sudden, you have more health than them, and they have to somehow get damage in some way, they have to heal in some way, or else they're dead, and Piper is really good at those burst damage shots, yes, Piper's low health, but Piper can do really high damage in a short amount of time, so she's really threatening. She can get those kills, and then once you get those kills, you can heal up by collecting their soul, and then you're getting, if you're in Showdown, you're getting more power-ups. It's really, really good. Piper, definitely a solid brawler. I feel like she's maybe underrated in this mode. I think she's definitely really hard to deal with. If you're not careful versus Piper, like, another thing, Piper has really long range, so you can be hitting them while they're not hitting you, and that's really important as well. So definitely Piper, pretty good, maybe underrated. I like Piper in Life Leech. Okay, 8 is going to be Brock. Brock's going to be a similar story, right? He's got that really long range. He does high damage per shot as well. And he has a super that's really threatening as well. At the least, it's going to cause people to not have anywhere to hide if you're not getting that many hits. You're just breaking down walls and putting them under a lot of pressure. You're pushing them into a different situation. But Brock does have that really long range. And that's really, really important in this mode. So Brock, definitely pretty good. Can't underrate him. 
Okay, at 7, it's gonna be Spike. Spike is a really solid brawler in Life Leech. You could honestly make him a little bit higher. The only reason he's lower is because he does have really low health. So that is definitely detriment to Spike. But he has a really strong ability with his general attack where you can go around walls to a degree. So that can get him that much damage or that much healing. So it's not super threatening, but it is useful. And in general, he does a high amount of damage per shot if you get a direct hit. So he can win one-on-ones in that way. His super, of course, can go over walls is also really threatening. On top of that, it can heal him if he really needs. He can put it down. If you have a star power, you can heal himself. So Spike is definitely really good in general. He just suffers a little bit. He's a little risky because he does have that really low health. So if any bad situation, you're going to be in trouble with Spike. But he can do a good amount of damage in general. At 6, it's going to be Jesse. Jesse definitely really solid in life. I mean, Jesse's a strong brawler in general right now since her recent buffs. And in Life Leech, it's definitely true. You get any sort of hit, you get that bounce shot. It's really, really important. On top of that, getting that turret up is really important because you can keep that up with her star power. And then it's really hard to deal with. Any sort of thing that adds pressure, something they have to deal with. Or it can even be a thing for you to hide behind. And then you're dealing damage with it as well. While the, Instead of them being able to attack you, they have to hit the turret first. But you're healing it up as well. It just makes it put a lot of threatening pressure on them. And anytime... As long as you're getting a little bit of damage with it, it's really, really useful, especially just in Showdown as well. Jesse is really, really good at bouncing shots off boxes and getting easy hits. And Jesse just makes it really difficult for enemies in general to just do what they want. And she's also pretty good at peak shots, not amazing, but she can definitely do it. Jesse is a really solid baller. At five, it's gonna be Penny. Penny is a really similar story. Except Penny just got a crazy buff with her attack projectile. She's not really strong. And her cannon, of course, come on. A long-range cannon that gets hits for you without you having to do anything, really strong. And her, her cannon is really good in general. So Penny is really good. Her attack is good. It can hit one thing. Like, it can hit a box and cause a lot of pressure and get damaged. And people can't use boxes and showdown against you. And in general, Penny can just get any hit. Penny just gets a solid amount of hits right now in general. She has a pretty long range, but mainly it's her cannon that makes her so good. So yeah, Penny, don't underrate her. At four, it's going to be Dynamite. Dynamite, the ability to throw over walls, so, so important in life. Because you can get damage without them being able to hit you, which is just... Insane, like it's so such a strong ability being able to do that all of a sudden you're hitting them and you're healing up and they're getting way lower in health and they can't heal and they can't touch you and what are they supposed to do if they have a super maybe they can do something but they got to have a super or they got to be able to throw over walls or something like that so dynamite definitely really strong in life leech. at three it's going to be crow crow is also really strong in life leech because he has an added pressure of just keeping people from ticking, keeping their health ticking away down. He can do really good at peak shots, and he also has a faster move speed, which is really important in life, which is to be able to dodge shots. Ability to dodge shots is definitely really key, that extra maneuverability. But on top of that, one of the reasons Crow is so good in Life Bleach is because of his super. As in Life Bleach, as long as you just have that more health than someone you can just wait them out you can wait them out if they have you more health than them sorry buddy like i'm just gonna run around and not gonna let you hit me and you're gonna die first and that's just gonna be too bad it's not gonna be skill it's just gonna be running around and you're still gonna beat them but with crow that's so important because once he has his super he just jumps on him gets that easy kill and then he heals up completely he can just prey on the weak people in Life Leash and use it to just get to full health. I mean, any sort of ability that just gets you to full health instantly is insane. So Crow being able to just get that, not quite at will, but just at any easy point, any point fairly easily, just wait for someone to be low health, poison them, hide behind walls, chip shot, and you're getting those easy chip shots while you're healing up too because of that. And then you just jump on someone and you completely demolish them with auto aim spam with crow because that is still pretty decent let's be real and you just heal up full health so crow definitely pretty good all right now i said earlier two brawlers that were really good and yeah number two it's gonna be pam pam is insanely good in life which these top two brawlers are way better than everyone else pam is insanely good in life which because of a couple things one she's just really strong in general she has a pretty long range she's not great at getting burst damage at range which is definitely her weakness but her star power heals her up. So anytime you hit someone, not only are you getting that life leech heal, you're also getting the Pam star power heal, which is really important. But of course, Pam's a healer. She has a healing turret. That's really good. Any sort of healing ability, as I was saying, is really strong. For the most part, Pam's is especially strong because it doesn't go away. 
you have to kill the turret. That means you have to engage Pam. So if you're engaging Pam, Pam's standing in that healing turret, and you're taking damage. Maybe you're hitting them, but Pam's going to be healing up way more than the person attacking Pam. So Pam is just going to out-heal them insanely. So unless you're a thrower who can really easily deal with Pam's turret like without taking damage, Pam is a really, really huge threat. Or maybe Jesse or Penny who can also sort of do pretty decent versus, but at the same time, Pam's still going to be out healing them really, really easily. So Pam is really strong, and she's got that damage buff recently a couple in a row. So she is definitely not to be underestimated, on top of her really high health. And number one, number one, it's going to be Barley. Barley, Barley is so good in Life Leech. Of course, he has that ability to throw over walls, but it's his star power. Barley has the best star power the best ability for life leech by far he heals up every time he throws a bottle so even if there's no one nearby even if he's by himself he can heal himself up as long as you have a star power of course you have to have a star power so it's a big caveat but he's still a good brawler regardless because he's a thrower and he can get really easy hits and it's one thing that's important in life leech is getting hits is more so important than doing a lot of damage at once it's definitely important to do a lot of damage, but if you can easily get hits like Barley can because of how wide his attack is and because he can throw over walls, you're just going to be able to heal up pretty easily. Barley definitely's weakness is his low health, but he also has that super that's so, so threatening in Life Leech because you're just making them get that much lower and it can cover so much ground. It's such an insane threat. All you got to do is do a little bit of damage to them and then you have more health than they do and then you just wait them out and you can go pick up their soul afterwards and you can use your star power to heal up while they're sitting there ticking away yeah barley is insanely strong in life leech all right guys that's gonna be it for my ranking list for life leech let me know what you think below let me know how you are enjoying this mode i hope you are i'm having so much fun anyways thanks so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoy it and i will catch you later